So in today's video, I want to talk to you about the times we are in right now and how it kind of is a repeat of Atlantis. So as we know, history repeats itself. There's different theories about what took down Atlantis and you know what happened and why did it happen and all that. Um, I believe, and along with some other people that I really respect, believe that it they got too technological and they really did let artificial intelligence take over. And that was the downfall of Atlantis. And so we're repeating it right now. It's a very scary game that we're playing. And this is why I encourage people to get out in nature as much as possible. Detach from so much of the technology and constantly being on your phone and constantly um, on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube and getting sucked in to anything that's artificial intelligence. For sure, do not implant anything in your body that I already see some people doing and they think it's so fun and fascinating. There's a lot of us here that incarnated to prevent a repeat of what happened in Atlantis. But what it will do is lead to more tyranny and control. I do believe that their agenda is to just make us all genderless robots that um, just do what they're commanded. Um, if you have, you know, things in your brain that are implanted or somewhere else. And that's a really scary road that we really need to avoid going down. We need to stay organic and, and natural as possible. Some of this technology I think is coming through injections also um, in an attempt to alter our DNA. So, and I've said this before, you know, try to avoid that at all costs. Your junk DNA is, is what you are trying to activate again. And it happens when you go into the underworld and, and do that work. But some of this technology that you're using, um, I think is trying to prevent the junk DNA being activated. There's a lot, like I'm not gonna get really deep into it, but there are, you know, the elites that are trying to prevent what's going on. And a lot of them, from what I know how the astral realm works, there's a lot of beings that I would consider black magicians that know how to not go in a certain direction on the astral realm and they can take their formal, former shell with all its complete memories and immediately reincarnate again and continue an agenda from their previous life. And a lot of the elite families or there's a, some politicians that I can see are these beings. They're kind of just empty shells. They have an agenda that they keep perpetuating in every lifetime. They try to reincarnate into the same family line to keep this agenda going. But when you do this so many times, you lose that spark, that light, and you just become a shell of a human being. And you, you, you lose the ability to ever ascend and you lose the ability to ever activate a body of light and visit other galaxies and planets and or go inside the planet and explore. They're basically dead inside. They're soulless, I guess is what I wanna say. And they're only concerned with like egoic things because that's what a shell contains. Only power, greed, manipulation. They don't really have emotions like a normal human they just, um, they don't care. They don't care about the people. They're really ramping it up right now. So don't go into fear about this. They're going to be extremely outnumbered and their reign is, you know, coming to an end. Since they're not able to go out of body and travel and go wherever, um, they're really pushing a lot of technology. Um, so I think that there's a lot of advanced technology out there that we're not even aware of. And they're using it to um, manipulate the population. 
they're using it for their own gain. You know, they may be able to go off planet and go places, but it's all done with technology. You know, they have to like build things to be able to travel and, and do things that we're going to be able to do magically and with our, you know, body of life. They're never going to be able to do that. And for some reason, they probably think they're better than we are, but, but in actuality, we have all this potential inside of us that they will never have. So maybe they're projecting a little bit of the jealousy <laughs> that they may have of us. But if they can keep us not knowing that we have that potential and keep the brainwashing with religions and new age and all that, you know, it keeps their game going. Again, try to stay away from the whole AI implanting yourself. I'm not even going to buy an electric car. I think that there's kind of like an agenda behind that too. And yeah, just if they try this whole injecting plan again, it'd be best for you not to participate. Because I do think it's a form of technology. Yeah, not to get down the conspiracy theory rabbit holes. These are things that, that I've always kind of can see that we're repeating a cycle and not to go down that road. We have to play the game, okay, and know how to outsmart them. So that's it for today and I will see you on the next video.